radar imagery. We're going to wait for this to push up to the north and northwest. And then also we have a little trough of low pressure out here over the northwestern Gulf. So this is not something that we're expecting to develop into anything really tropical, but it is out there. And really what this will do is just kind of send rain over toward Texas and even southwest Louisiana. Notice the chance for actually developing into anything tropical is quite low. However, we are almost at that time of year where we're beginning to you know, see things uh, pop up and giving it that at least low end chance for a bit of development. That's what the National Hurricane Center has for us in that area today. We'll talk about that that other area in a second, but here first is the upper level pattern. This high is going to be moving in and drawing our part of Louisiana out, although the moisture may still continue to stream out to the west of us. So our model showing you what's going to happen today. It's not doing a great job because we have rain where it's not showing rain, but the general trend will be for the rain to shift farther to the west as we move through today, letting us dry out, although we're continuing with clouds and windy today. So good chance for those early morning showers. Highs today later, maybe around 80 degrees or so. It continues windy with those east southeast winds. And then tonight our lows will be in the 60s to about 70. We'll finally be drying out and we may eventually see some clear skies as we move into tonight. So things much improved for the weekend. Here's that other area that we're watching. This might briefly become subtropical storm Anna that might happen either later today or tomorrow. It's around the Bermuda area way out in the Atlantic, so we're just kind of keeping our eye on it. It does look like if it did become a subtropical storm, which is a hybrid storm, not fully tropical. It has some features that are not tropical, but if that did happen, it doesn't look like it would last too long. It would probably uh, die out later in the weekend. Our hurricane season outlook, of course, from NOAA came in yesterday and they are called calling for 13 to 20 named storms. So above average season, the average for a season would be 14 named storms. Our seven day forecast, ah, how good does that look? Many days with no rain chances, although we will be heating up a little bit as we move into next week.